Space, the final frontier. I'm Admiral James McKenzie, um, head of Starbase 24. This is my fleet captain, Kaylin. Uh, but for tonight, she's uh, Dun Vulcan, um, Ambassador Talar. If it wasn't for um, the Trek universe, we would have never have met. We would never have married. We're here to raise money for Macmillan Cancer and basically have a party, costume party, and have a lot of fun in the process to do it. Klingons well. are well. They're the warrior. They're the they're the warrior bad guys of the galaxy. They tend to be loud, shout a lot, carry lots of weapons, like fighting and drink a lot. I speak a little Klingon. Hab socially kutch, which if you say it to a Klingon is a deadly insult. If you say it to a Terran, it's completely meaningless. What it literally means is your mother has a smooth forehead. Kapla! My Klingon name is Kraglinklasa. Klingons! What do you want to know? We are glorious warriors. We fight to the last and we love the battle. My clothes, this is my battle armor. I have my gauntlets with my house name on and my boots. We don't go for fancy armor, we enjoy the kill. These are Cardassian bones. When we kill them, we make necklaces. I killed them in glorious battle with my bat lift, just one big swoosh and took the heads off. <coughs> the battle was on Cardassia. We defeated the Dominion and we feasted over the bodies of the Cardassians. We will always win. We will never retreat. We will enjoy our day and we shall feast on your hearts when you die. The Cardassians are our mortal enemies. They decided to ally with our enemies, so they become our enemies and we want to make sure they were destroyed. The food, it's human, but since we're on Earth, we have to eat their food. <coughs> I would like it a bit more alive, but it was all right. Honor, honor your family, honor your friends. Do not dishonor yourself. Never retreat, always go forwards and do it honorably. <coughs> well, the phrase I always tell everybody, which is the most important phrase that Klingon needs to know on an another planet is Nupako Puchpa'a which means where is the toilet? I was uh, often told that I looked like uh, Patrick Stewart and I eventually uh, decided that I ought to help charities, make some money out of it. It, uh, it felt strange at first, but I soon got used to um, people glancing at me, knowing what they were thinking in their minds, you know, is it him or isn't it? And uh, I was happy to go along with that. And ever since I've had a lot of fun. I've been to most of the big ones over here. Uh, my first one was in Blackpool. Uh, at the uh, Voyager Con, and uh, there, that's the first time I met Patrick Stewart as well. And I think he was a bit uncomfortable. I was waiting to have my photograph taken with him, and he, he just came around the corner and we shook hands, and I said, it's a pleasure meeting him, and could we have a photograph together? And he turned to his PA, and then came back to me and said, I really haven't got time. I do believe he was uh, possibly uncomfortable, 
the fact that I look so much like him. Make it so. That's one of his uh, uh, characteristic um, sentences that he uses on board the Enterprise. With no further ado, I'm going to pass this microphone over to our honoured guest, Captain Jean-Luc Picard of Starship Enterprise. I want to know why nobody stood up when I first came in today. <laughs> Most kind, my dear, thank you. Yeah, I came blue last year, so I thought, okay, I'm going to come black and white, but I couldn't get the, the, the paint right, so I ended up with red in the end. Like retro science fiction, you know, real cheesy stuff. Real like bad special effects, isn't it? I don't know, something cool about it, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, come on, William Shantley, when he does all his cheesy acting, it's great, isn't it? Plus, I like the, the values of Star Trek, you know, which I've followed it all the way from the beginning. Well, it's about people coming together, isn't it? Isn't it? You know, it's, it's more than just a TV program. You know? Spaceships and laser guns and sexy birds in, like, you know, knickers and bras on alien planets painted blue or whatever, you know, it's. It's about coming together and looking at the bigger picture. In sixties, it changed race relations, didn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah. civil rights here. They had a black woman on the bridge. She was an officer. Well, well, you know, on the starship, five hundred people, all different nationalities. She was fourth in command. You know, Martin and Luther Russian, King. That, yeah, Russian. Chekhov, Russian. Russian Cold, Cold War. Cold War. Yeah. Chekhov on the weapons council. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Uh, Chinese man, no, Japan, well, they meant to be Chinese, one of Solo ones. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, China, we were all dodgy with them, but yeah. they were on ship, it were an international community. They'd gone beyond borders and race, and they were all together going for the bigger thing in space. I'm Lursa of the Clan Macmillan, a Scottish Klingon by birth. My husband bought me this batleth, and it's a full size metal replica. <laughs> this is a full-size replica weapon from the series Star Trek. Metal, full-size and vicious. You parry with it and you hack with it. All sorts of moves. Okay. And so where did your husband get it from? He imported it from Australia. It must have been quite a job to get that. It was very difficult to get it through customs. At one point, he didn't think he was going to get it through in time for Christmas. Well, I knew what it was because it's not very easy to wrap. <laughs> it was a nice surprise. It was something I've always wanted. I've had a make-up one before, but this was one thing I really wanted. And he managed to do it. Because I am part Scottish anyway. And in Scotland, there's a, quite a large complement of Klingons. So it just made sense to make my particular character Scottish. The way of a Klingon today is a good day to die. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Normally I go by my character alias Alexander Corbus. He's the captain of a interceptor prototype, a fast attack interceptor intended to protect Starfleet from very sudden problems that turn up. But for tonight, most of the evening, I portrayed the character of Lacuti of Borg, a liberated Borg drone. She was assimilated at the Battle of Wolf 359. A few years later, she was aboard a Borg cube that was involved in some form of ion storm. She soon discovered she had a rather interesting singing voice because of a sub-vocal implant that was in her neck and she found that she could control her vocal range quite well, so she decided to become a singer. 
Star Trek has been a very big influence on my life for a very long time. The world that Gene Roddenberry created was a world of tolerance where division among humanity are almost completely removed. Like, there's no racism, there's um, people of multiple ethnicities, there's even apparently transgendered members within Starfleet and the Federation. Equality is something that I personally find very important and it's one of the first things that really drew me to Star Trek when I first thought about it properly. Whenever I get up in the morning I'm me, there's no changing that, but whenever I put on the uniform I'm able to become someone a little bit different, it adds a bit of variety to my everyday life. You may remember from earlier on, um, Flag Captain Tala mentioned that the evening was dedicated to Stephen Percival, someone who wanted to be at the event but unfortunately he died from cancer a couple of years before. He was actually a very close and dear friend of mine and I remember telling him about the first banquet but unfortunately he couldn't attend. Ironically he couldn't attend because he was in hospital as a result of complications from his uh, leukemia. And unfortunately, a couple of months after the first banquet, he passed away due to complications. And after that, it became a bit of a tradition for me to bring Stephen's picture with me to the banquet so that Stephen could be with us in spirit, but also be a sort of emissary for our group. Well, that is a work of art. It is. This is Romulan Ale. It is actually banned in the Federation because it's very potent. And uh, if you drink this stuff, it, well, it could be highly dangerous.